What's up, guys? Uh, it is... Oh, I don't have a hoodie on. I just realized that. Uh, it's 11.26 on today's... What is today? Tuesday, February the 9th. Um, <clears throat> I just want to, you know, say thank you again for everybody commenting and, and trying to help on my... Um, I'm sorry, or I'm, I'm scared, please help video. Um, you know, it, it definitely means a lot knowing that I'm not the only one going through shit, especially like this. Um, you know, because obviously this isn't something that, you know, you hear about every day. You know, you hear about, you know, people going through stuff, but not in a shadow person sense, you know, it's, I say that, you know, I tell certain people this and they look at me like I'm nuts. And then that that's why I stopped talking about it and tried to hide it for, for so long. And now that I know I'm not the only one out there who is dealing with this or going through the same thing that I'm going through kind of it's it's nice knowing that I'm not crazy you know because for the longest time I felt like I was nuts I thought I was losing my mind um there's a guy <clears throat> messaged me last night. His name is James Book. Um, uh, James, uh, I want to say thank you, man. Um, well, first off, again, thanks to everybody, but definitely thank you to you uh, for bringing your theories to to mind. You know, to light. I never thought at once at all that there's a possibility that I can be an empath. Um, but it does make sense because growing up, it, it actually got worse after I had a couple concussions. Um, people would... I, I'm going to sound fucking nuts talking about this. Uh... I never really said this out loud before. Holy shit. Um, people would have a glow to them. You know, certain people would have uh, a very bright, vibrant glow. And some people would have, you know, a darker color around them. Um, basically saying that I... Especially after it got worse, or it, a, after the the couple concussions I've had, um, especially the one in high school, the one I had in high school really did it in. Uh, you know, people had, you know, started not, you know, glowing like a flashlight, obviously, but, you know, glowing as in, you know, they would have a slight you know, a, 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 you know, a slight brighter complexion, I, I guess the, the word would be, uh, you know, basically I, I've, I've been able to see people's auras since I was younger, since I was, Christ, since I can remember. I remember being younger and freaking out and crying because I didn't want to be around people because I was scared. Uh, you know, these, you know, having uh, even people I knew glow at me is it's, you know, as, as a kid, that's fucking, that's scary as shit. And then, uh, also being able to, 
walk into a room, a crowded room, and be able to pick up on emotions, you know, like, I can, I can walk into a crowded room of, you know, 20 some people and pick out each and every single emotion that they're feeling. And, you know, if, if I'm next to somebody or if I'm close to somebody, you know, to, if I'm close to that person the entire night, or, you know, the entire day, or if I, you know, if I go to work and I'm working next to somebody the entire day, I match that person's emotions to the fucking T. It's, I've always been like that ever since I was a kid, you know, so I never, I never put two and two together that there's a possibility that I'm an empath or have the ability to be an empath. Now that I, you know, now, now that he, you know, James, you brought that to light, you know, I'm, I'm definitely, oh, I'm definitely going to be doing a little bit of research and I'm going to see exactly how I would be able to control that or even to try to help people, you know, because Whenever it comes down to it, that's actually what I would love to do is to be able to help people. Uh, you know, but uh, it's definitely hard. It's hard for me to talk about, the, you know, stuff like this because I, growing up, you know, I tried telling, you know, talking to my family about it and they just looked at me like I was... Like I was a freak, basically, and it's it was hard, you know. And uh, you know, I I would try to console into my friends, you know, who I people who I thought were my friends, and they would you know go off and you know tell a bunch of people, and and you know eventually you know my entire school thought I was a freak. Uh, you know, uh, obviously, you know, my entire school, except for, you know, the, my really, really close friends and, you know, the, the girl I was dating at the time, you know, so, but every, everybody else, you know, they, they all thought I was a freak, even hell, even other school, I played football in high school, even other schools, you know, they would, you know, people would be like, you know, I, I would, I would go to other games and I you know I'd be like uh, padded up and you know people would look at me like oh shit you know uh, on the field other other players players they would look at me oh shit look it's it's the freak you know for a while there that was a nickname of mine everybody called me you know everybody literally called me the oh, did it freeze up no everybody called me the freak you know, in, in school, it was really, it was weird and it's not, you know, I didn't like it. I went home upset every day, you know, it just, so for a while there I had to, I basically told everybody that I was, it was a joke. I was lying, you know, that I made it up and. Then, you know, that spread and that word spread around that I was, I would make shit up, but I, I didn't, you know, I'm, I'm 31 years old now. I'm going to be 32 in June, you know, go Gemini's, but you know, I, I'm now at the age where I can care less what people think about me. You know, I'm, I'm engaged. Uh, I'm not, uh, I don't, I don't think she's going to be going anywhere. I know I'm not going anywhere and, you know, she accepts me for who I am. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have freakish ab abilities, I guess, you know, I can, I can 
see people glowing. <laughs> I, I see glowing people. You know, it's even to this day, I still, you know, if I really, really think about it, if I really look at people, you know, really try to study them, yeah, they, they glow. And it's weird. Uh, I can even I can even pick it up on videos and pictures um, that I really really have to be, pictures I really have to really have to look and really have to concentrate. But videos is videos is the same way. I got to really concentrate, but not as much. But you know, as a you know, seeing people in in person, you know, being face to face with somebody they, they i don't have to concentrate at all they just they glow you know uh it's it's strange it's really strange so i've been dealing with this since since i can remember and same with the emotions you know i can the emotions is a big one you know especially if i if i'm dealing with being you know, depressed already, and somebody else is upset, and I'm, I match emotions to the T, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm double depressed, and it sucks, so, but anyways, yeah, again, I just wanted to say thank you again, you know, James, uh, you, you definitely brought that to light there, buddy, um, you know, like I said yesterday, hopefully one day we'll be able to get together and go hunting. Uh, I mean, I live in PA. You live in, I think you said Toronto, Canada. Um, I'm not entirely sure how far that is away from where I live because I live just south of Pittsburgh. Uh, I know, I know Erie is, Erie, PA is about three hours away from here, three and a half roughly. And the Canadian border is about four hours away from me, I do believe, depending on which way you go. So, you know, may, maybe one of these days, buddy, we'll, we'll be able to get together and, and uh, you know, be able to go ghost hunting together. That'd be cool as shit. But anyways, uh, uh. Just wanted to say thanks, everybody, and kind of enlighten everybody on a little bit of my weird shit, a little bit more of my weird shit that I have. Um, I'll talk, I'll make another video later. I kind of, I got to get my, my head in the right place before I tell you guys anything else. Cause that's not all I I can pick up on, so it's it's just really weird. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna get some food. My fat ass is hungry. And um, everybody, be safe. Stay safe. Anybody in the southwestern Pennsylvania area, or anybody dealing with this fucking. This shit outside, this snow bullshit outside. Please be careful. There's a tractor trailer wrecked on 70 going westbound towards Washington, PA. Completely flipped over on its side, and uh, yeah, it's just a fucking mess. So, but uh, yeah, there's a couple other wrecks too. So, again, please be safe. Stay safe. God bless. See you guys.